Zake Wan Mechibed is my name, Ambassador of Uganda to the United Arab Emirates. I want to thank you for coming to find out to know about the situation of the stranded Ugandans in Awil deportation camp. How did it happen? It is that uh, we came to realize as the African ambassadors that there are quite a number of Africans that are stranded in the United Arab Emirates without jobs, without accommodations, without food, and they were just retiring uh, on the streets of Dubai, majorly Dubai, and of course a few in other Emirates. So when we investigated, we realized that uh, some of them, they did not have uh, a legal stay, legal documents for their stay here. And the others had become in anticipation of getting jobs. They failed to get jobs. Then there are those that were trafficked, those that were trafficked. So we decided that for such a situation, how can they be helped? Because when you are here and you overstay, your visa, the validity of your visa, you are fined. And uh, the fine is that uh, the first day of overstay, the charge is about uh, equivalent of 300,000 Ugandan shillings. And then every subsequent day, you are charged 100,000 shillings. So for example, if someone has overstayed for 31 days, you'll be fined an equivalent of 3.3 million Ugandan shillings. So it became very um, an issue, a very important issue, uh, that if someone doesn't have where to stay, then how can they afford to be able to pay their fines? So the African group led by our Dean of Ambassadors, the Ambassador of South Africa, is the Dean of the African group. We met with the authorities of UAE and discussed this issue. Since the majority of such people were in uh, Dubai, uh, it was resolved that they come up with an amnesty, the government of Dubai, to be granted to this category of people that are stranded. And this amnesty is for three months. From August, it started the beginning of August and it will run until end of this month. And in this amnesty, what are the benefits for those that turn up to this call is that you are forgiven all the fines of your overstay, number two, uh, the government of Dubai buys for you an air ticket to return back home. So when this call was done, the beginning of August, among those that turn up to be assisted, the Ugandans were the majority. The number of Ugandans were uh, 1,500 out of the total of 3,000 people that turned up, literally meaning half of them were Ugandans. So out of the 1,500, it's only uh, 480, I mean 280, who had the passports with them. So those ones were immediately repatriated in the first week. The remaining 1,220 never had their passports. They were either confiscated by those that trafficked them, or some of them have lost, had lost them in one way or the other. So what we did was now to communicate back home because uh, for such category of people that do not have passports, they are required to have emergency travel documents, which documents are also known as certificates of identity. So we were able to, these documents are saleable documents because uh, they are issued by the government of Uganda and uh, they are serialized by the Bank of Uganda. So for us to give it on gratis, what I mean, at no charge, we have to seek authorization uh, from uh, the government of Uganda. So that happened that we wrote back home and we were given authorization to give out these uh, documents at uh, gratis. And there were 452 travel documents that we had with us at the embassy. And yet the number that required these documents was much more than that, as I said before. It was 1,220. So we gave out the 452 first, but of course there was a challenge to determine who gets first and who gets later. We followed a, a simple principle that we first considered those that were severely ill, those that were physically sick, and then those that were pregnant and those that uh, had little babies. So those ones got and they got repatriated. So now the remainder, the remainder number now, we had to write again back home because we had run out of these documents and they sent us more documents, 2,000 documents. And that enabled us to issue each and every Ugandan who is at the deportation camp with a travel document. 
So out of those that had remained, we now have 160 that are still at this center. We visited there yesterday, but one. And of course, uh, the welcome was not very good because uh, some of them were, tried, were confused by a few agents that are trying to put in politics, yet this matter does not require politics. It is an issue of good health, it's an issue of having accommodation, it's an issue of getting assistance. So for us, the reports we make back home, we, they, they, we had a response, a good response from government. Government wanted to know exactly out of those that were at this camp, how many are still stranded there and when should they get back home. The reason they haven't gone is that when they facilitate repatriation of you for one country, then they also go to other countries. So it goes as a round of turns and now these 160 are waiting for their turn because there are about eight, six different countries that are having nationals there. Uganda, Nigeria, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Syria, Leone, amongst others. So the purpose, we were there yesterday. Of course, my team, uh, when I say my team, those that are responsible for consular services are always visiting these facilities every Monday and Thursday. But yesterday we had, yesterday but one, we received a special guest from Uganda, the permanent secretary to the Ministry of Finance. He came to see exactly what is on ground and how we can help those that haven't been repatriated instead of waiting for the turn when their tickets shall be provided by the government of Dubai that uh, government, if Uganda could do something on that, and he, it was good that he established the numbers. We have 160 Ugandans that are still stranded there, but I can't be surprised to see that the numbers increase because every day new other U stranded Ugandans are coming in there, and we're encouraging those that are still out there to come before the end of the deadline. So the permanent secretary resolved after realizing the problem is going to work out something with Uganda Airlines such that all of them are repatriated before the end of the amnesty period. So that they don't have again to go back into bigger problems of paying for their charges of overstay. So that is the position as of now. And in conclusion, I want to encourage all of you Ugandans that are still out there stranded to come to this uh, deportation center to benefit from the amnesty. Otherwise, when the amnesty expires, it will mean that you will have to pay for your penalties. And if you fail to do so, you'll be black blacklisted. You'll be repatriated back home, but you'll never ever be able to come back to this place. But if you live now, through this amnesty that has been arranged, you not be blacklisted, you are not going to be charged any fines, and you can always come back wherever the situation gets better. Any advice to uh, Uganda job seekers coming here? The advice is that number one, before you come, make sure that uh, you have a job. You've already identified a job and you come on an employment visa. But also with the new terms and the conditions that have been set by the government of UAE, you are allowed to come on a tourist visa as you try to get to look for a job opportunity. And the visa usually is for 30 days, I mean three months. 90 days. So if you get a job during this time, you work it out with your employer to change to the, the relevant visa. You change to the employment visa. Because even if you get a job, but when you are still here on a visa visa, still you'll be counted as someone who is living illegally. Because the visa would have expired, so you need to change to the right for the visa. And also in a case, the time you are here expires before you get a job. The new legislation, which is going to be implemented on the 5th of December, you are allowed to extend for another three months. So don't accept, don't allow to go into overstay because it will make your life hard and complicated.